Hey guys, I'm Archer Master here. Today I'm gonna play Glan Challenge with 3.0 Expo. Yeah, let's go. First, I'm gonna first play Spirit before the bridge to get an idea of the opponent's deck. Expo here. Dude, seriously? I don't know this guy, but he gave it to me. I can understand if you stop after 15 wins in the global tournament. Some people are in it for the rewards. But who would give up the game after 8 wins in GC? That's a pretty rare type. If you knew me and were a contributor, I'd be grateful. Either way, I appreciate it. I know you are probably Japanese, but if you watch this video, please comment. It's kind of an interesting video, wise. But let's switch gears and go on to the next game. I just found out that the deck I just played against was a log bait deck with no spells. Well, if you knew my deck, you'd give up. I've got a little brainstorming on the log bait deck with no spells. Where did face control go? I used to hit it on top ladder three years ago but I guess they don't do that anymore. It's kind of sad that top players are leaving this game more and more. It's like the game Clash Royale itself is going out of style. Probably because the game's population has declined since its heyday, and a lot of old template decks have disappeared since Champion was introduced. I think the impact brought about by the Champions has been tremendous, both in a good and bad way. In my opinion, I didn't want it introduced as a champion. If it were a champion, it would be a 3 card cycle, which would be boring because it would speed up the cycle of most decks. Well, I still enjoy playing this game, so I guess the appeal must be amazing. Gonna go Expo and Skelly to stop here for this bandit. And Log. I got a bit of damage. When the opponent is only up to two cards out after hitting Posen, there's no problem forcing it to attack. Because I don't think my opponent can hit Poison to Expo. If the opponent hit it late, Expo is already in your hand by then. And Poison only reduces the damage by a little bit, so if your opponent doesn't have a unit on the field in the meantime, you'll be locking into the tower. And, if there's nothing to do or you think it's risky to attack, you can put Tesla in the middle. Putting it here will defend everything against Pekka BS decks. Sometimes there are people who stubbornly don't put their units out until their opponent does, but it's okay to put them out first. And the time to attack is mainly when there is no poison or P.E.K.K.A. in the opponent's hand. If you attack at this time, it is easier to defend the Expo because there are no hard units and they are all close range units. The opponent seems to be in pain, so we attack all the time. If the opponent's poison is out of cycle, you can put the archer near the expo, but if it is in cycle, it is safer not to put it there. I'm still going to go for a lock because my opponent even used an agonizing zap, here. That's pretty good. There is one thing I want you to be careful of at this point, or rather, be wary of. That is, pay attention to those who change targets or expo, such as Zap, 
E-Wizard, and so on. If it were an E-Wizard, this guy can change his to units at the same time, so you always have to have to in front of the expo. You don't have to put it there, but if you're in situation where you're going to lose if you don't attack here, or if you can afford it elixir, wise, you should do so. Noru is such an excellent player that he often hits the top ladder. To deck his always splash yard. I feel a little sorry for him, though, because we're both Japanese. Tesla in the middle for Skelly King. Against this deck, it might not be a good idea to put Tesla in the middle too much. Because you can't get a target on a baby dragon. And skeleton coming out of the splash yard. So putting Tesla in line with the baby dragon is a good idea, in my opinion. I'm not saying this is right in general, though, because I think people place Tesla differently and so on. As for the tombstones, I'm immediately going to break them with a fireball. This deck isn't even a fireball bait. An ice wizard isn't that much of a threat. The shield is gone, so I'm going on the offensive. I didn't realize there was such an elixir. That's too bad play. I was thinking about what kind of video to shoot earlier, and a viewer said, why don't you play the Glen challenge with 12 different expo decks? I thought it was a really good idea and tried it right away, but I was so bad at playing that I stopped halfway through. I've decided not to post that video because, although my head was spinning, I kept making mistakes that I wouldn't normally make and getting my tower broken. And, on second thought, I didn't have 12 different decks. I've been trying to figure out what to put up for video lately. Ladder is really not doing well lately either. I think it's because of my job. I think my brain is tired because I have school and haven't slept much. I only sleep like 3 hours a day, and today I've got 5 hours. But I don't have work today, so I'll sleep and chill some more. And the global tournament is the worst ever. My main account ended up with 21 wins, and I have too many accounts, both with 6 wins and 1 loss. That's honestly terrible. I'll have to work again tomorrow, but I'll get a good rest today, and try to be active in the ladder. Wait, both sides of my tower have the same amount of damage left. Must be a miracle. Gonna go expo here. There's not much advantage to putting expo in this position, but it's kind of cool. Does anyone understand this feeling? Tesla here. And let's go expo again. Gonna play fireball to predict ice wizard or tombstone. But it's okay cause I can reduce the hit point. Tesla expo and log here. and I'm gonna reduce the tower head point by fireball more and more. E spirit and archers here. And log. I was pushed quite a bit at the end, but I won in the end.
Well, we have matchups for Expo, we should win against it. Okay, let's go last game. Today's video is little late, so sorry. Ladder and Global Tournament were too bad to do anything about it. But the mini account has one loss, but it's still there. So I'm trying to make the top 50 because it gets a lot of views. By the way, the last matchup is mirror. But I guess deck is different. I'm not very good against Texpo Mirror so don't take this as a reference. I don't really know how to do it. If I play Expo Defense, the tower will be reduced by fireballs, and if I attack, I'll be protected. If you're confident at 3.0 Expo Mirror to that degree, please elaborate in the comments. The spells are rockets, so we can attack incessantly. Honestly, though, the hardest thing for these kinds of decks is to be protected all the time. If they attack us, they'll give us shields and use a lot of elixirs, so it's easier to attack them. This is an immediate fireball. It's very hard to play defense expo when I don't have a knight in my hand. We can't do anything against that expo, and we can't attack it. When we attack, they are defended at low cost and reduced us by rocket attacks on tower. I have to make sure the Valkyries don't come with skeletons, otherwise I'll protect them with knight archers. If the timing is right, this combination is insanely strong. Yeah. He was put out AQ behind the tower, so I'm gonna go expo here. But it's failed. Skeletons for AQ and the log, Tesla. Okay, that's great. The opponent attacks me like an infinity. If it's a normal 3.0 expo deck, I'd roll the fireball into the tower, but since they have AQ, it's hard to do that. This gonna go expo. Predict the AQ. And fireball. On the left side, Eddie Spirit to form. And predict cannon. I'm gonna play second expo. Log strip AQ targets and turn them into skeletons. Maybe this is not a normal way to change the target, but if you look closely, you can see that the opponent put it in front of the AQ and E Spirit pulled it back, so I was able to do it. Now that I have the damage advantage, I have nothing to worry about when they rocket into the tower, so I'll put the expo in the middle. Yeah, that's flawless. He gave up finally. It's been a while since I played the grand challenge with 3.0 expo, but it was very easy to play and I encourage everyone to give it a try. Yeah. I think I'll close my video right now. Alright. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you definitely should. And if you have any feedback or something, please let me know in the comments. Bye.